How's it guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you didn't know, I've started a brand new list of businesses and I want to show you what some of them are. Here's the first one, Jungle Adventures. I also got into designing apps and this one's a music app. It's called Listener. Since I saw that TED Talks was such a popular medium online, I thought, why not make my own TED Talk platform? I'll call it Bright Ideas. Hope you like my businesses. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Guys, I want to show you how you can easily, easily make those type of logos in this video. Very, very simple. It's a free resource that's online. So let's jump straight in and check it out. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to jump online. You're going to go to a website called mixkit.co. Uh, this is a great website. I have done a previous video on it. You can check it out above uh, on introductions and intro templates for Premiere Pro. But what we were going to do today is we're going to make some logo introductions. And all you're going to do is you're going to go to the main website. You're going to click on templates and Premiere Pro. And we can see here they got tons of different templates. They got lower thirds. If you hover over them, they, they give you a preview of uh, what they look like. They got some titles. I really enjoy the titles. I think the titles are very cool. They got a nice library of titles, really modern, nice and clean. Today, I just want to show you the logo one. So if you look at that, I mean, that's just pretty cool. I've already shown you this one. So I think I'm just going to work with this one and uh, I'm going to download it over here. Download it started. Just wait a little bit. It will come as a zip file. You're going to have to unzip it. And once it's unzipped, it'll open a folder. You go into that folder and you look for the Premiere Pro project fold, uh, file that's inside. Let's open that thing up. You can see it gives you your main file, your main project with a whole bunch of layers. And you might be thinking what the heck is going on. This is really confusing. It's actually really simple. For, if I play through it, uh, that is what is going to come out. But we want to change that mixed kid logo to our own logo. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the folders on the left here and find the one that we're looking for. So with a lot of these files that you download, these templates, they're going to break it down for you and it's going to be really, really simple. It's broken down into an edit, a final and assets. And we want to go to the edit folder and change one thing. It's it's there, it's titled the logo placeholder. So I double click on this, it opens up the sequence. As you can see there, there's our mix kit logo. And we do not want that thing because we don't want to advertise mix kit. This video is not sponsored by mix kit, but we want to put our own logo in there. I'm going to drag one of my logos in there. This is the one that I created, Bright Ideas. I'm just going to make it the same length as the mix kit one. It's a lot smaller than the other logos. So what we can do, Click on it, go to your fixed controls at the top over here and just scale that baby up so it's at a decent size that we want. And then what I'm going to do is delete the mix kit because I wanted to match the length of the logo that they've given to me. That's why I matched the length there. Let's check out what it looks like. Play through it. Boom. Bad ideas. It is that easy. I just want to show you another one just to show you how basic and easy this is. Uh, so this one does look a bit different when you click on it. There's not uh, many layers, but this is actually a nested sequence. So if I double click on it, it's going to break down what is showing up. And again, if you go to the folders on the left here, you go to edit, you can click on your logo and there is no logo. So it's not displaying anything. So I'm going to drag a logo in, drag that logo in, just extend it. And I'm just going to scale it up a bit and play through by hitting spacebar just to see what it looks like. Listener. And I don't want that mix kit to show up. So on the left by the files, I'll double click on this text sequence and I can click on this and change it to listener.app. Listener.app, sorry. Play it through now. Boom, listener app. And you can readjust it so that they're not so close to each other. You can push the the logo a little bit higher and you can add some music over it. Really, really simple, easy logos that look really good and they're just going to add so much value to you. And I can't believe this resource is for free. Uh, so I'm going to have a link to the website in my description. You can check it out there. Hey, if this has added value to you, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. It just helps the channel to grow. I really appreciate it. Uh, but that is it from me. I'll see you guys soon. Peace out. Bye -bye.